detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan formally launched the Esas Kafalat program in Islamabad today to financially empower a total of 7 million most deserving women across the country in three phases. Addressing the ceremony, the Prime Minister said the government is taking steps to make Pakistan a welfare state on the pattern of the state of Medina. He said the social welfare programs of the incumbent government transform Pakistan into a country where social equality prevails. The Prime Minister said no society can develop where the elite prospers at the expense of a sea of poor people. The Prime Minister said Pakistan Tariq and South government has so far given health cards to 6 million families who can now avail medical treatment up to 720,000 rupees. Imran Khan said loans being given under the SRS program will promote entrepreneurship and small and medium enterprises of the country. He said around 200 billion rupees have been earmarked for the SRS program to help uplift the weaker segments of the society. The Prime Minister said under the Kafalat program, opening bank accounts of women will help stop theft of their money and also enable them to purchase essential items from utility stores, corporation outlets. Imran Khan also appreciated giving smartphones to program recipients that will open a whole new world for them and their families. The Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi says Kashmir is a national cause and all the stakeholders are united on the issue. Addressing a special session of the Kashmir cell in Islamabad today, he said all the political parties and forces are on the same page regarding the issue of Kashmir. The foreign minister said Pakistan will never leave the Kashmiri brothers and sisters alone. Shah Mahmood Qureshi said Indian claims that all is well in occupied Kashmir have fully been exposed and discussion in the European Union Parliament on Kashmir is a failure of India. The foreign minister said Kashmir is not an internal issue of India, rather it has been debated at the United Nations Security Council thrice after 50 years. He said Indian narrative on international media has faced humiliation. The foreign minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi says Pakistan will continue supporting peace efforts in Afghanistan as a joint responsibility. Talking to the American Special Representative for Afghanistan Reconciliation, Zalmay Khalilzad, in Islamabad today, he said a peace agreement between the United States and the Taliban will pave the way for intra-Afghan dialogue, which will prove useful for peace and stability not only in Afghanistan, but the entire region. The two sides agreed to continue consultations to make joint efforts for the Afghan peace process. Ambassador Zalmay Khalilzad informed the foreign minister about the details of the current situation of the ongoing talks with the Taliban and also appreciated Pakistan's reconciliatory role. The American Special Representative for Afghanistan Reconciliation, Zalmay Khalilzad, also called on the Army Chief General Kamar Javid Bajwa in Rawalpindi today. They discussed regional peace situation and matters of mutual interest. The American Special Representative appreciated efforts of Pakistan for peace in the region. They also discussed the Afghan peace and reconciliation process. Pakistan and Spain have acknowledged the need to enhance defense cooperation between the two countries. The understanding came during a meeting between Defense Minister Padres Khatak and the Ambassador of Spain, Manuel Duran Jimenez Rico, in Islamabad today. Padres Khatak said collaboration to address global challenges such as terrorism, extremism, illegal immigration, and drug trafficking is an important part of our bilateral relations with Spain. The Defense Minister also mentioned that a Memorandum of Understanding on Defense Cooperation between Pakistan and Spain is at an advanced stage. The Defense Minister invited Spanish military to join in training collaboration ventures and multilateral maritime exercise Amman. The National Assembly was informed today that a plan of action has been prepared in coordination with the stakeholders to save the agriculture sector from the invasion of locusts. Responding to a calling attention notice, the Minister for National Food Security, Makhdoum Khusra Bakhtiar, 
said this plan will be executed in the next one and a half years at a cost of over 7 billion rupees. The minister said aerial sprays have been carried out in Sindh and South Punjab to save the crops from the attack of locusts. He said as a result of emergency measures, the Kharif crop has been saved from these swarms. The Minister for Federal Education, Shafkat Mahmood, has informed the Senate that the incumbent government adhering to its manifesto is committed to enforce the uniform education curriculum across the country so that, so that all the children have a fair and equal opportunity to receive high quality education. Speaking during question hour today, he said the uniform education curriculum will be one of the best curricula of the world, which will be implemented in all the schools of the country. The minister said the government is fully determined to enroll out of school children to ensure the due contributions in the country's progress and prosperity. This is Radio Pakistan. In occupied Kashmir, the Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred three Kashmiri youths in Jammu district today. According to Kashmir Media Service, the youth were martyred when the Indian troops intercepted a Srinagar bound truck near Ban Tol Plaza on the Jammu Srinagar, Srinagar Highway. Meanwhile, the Indian troops launched cordon and search operations in several areas of Kupwara, Bandipura, Baramula, Pulwama, Shupanya, Islamabad, Anantnag, Kulgam, Kishtwar, Ramban, Rajori, and Punch districts. On the other hand, addressing at the Srinagar's historic Jamia Masjid, the Imam Maulana Sayyid Ahmed Naqshbandi expressed deep concern over the continued detention of the chairman of the Khuriyat Forum, Mirwais Omar Farooq, since 5th of August last year. People present in the mosque demanded immediate release of the Mirwais and all the other, other illegally detained Kashmiris. New Delhi-based newspaper The Indian Express says years of unabated Indian violence in occupied Kashmir has left the Kashmiri children traumatized and oppressed. In an article, the paper reminds, opines that the current spate of violence in the occupied territory has not only caused extreme suffering of unprecedented proportions, but also resulted in seething anger, acute polarization, and hardening of attitude towards the Indian state. In China, the death toll due to coronavirus has risen to 213. The Chinese Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Hua Chanying said in a statement in Beijing that China has taken most comprehensive and rigorous prevention and control measures. She said 9,962 people have been infected with coronavirus. Israel has launched wide-scale airstrikes in Gaza Strip shortly after Palestinians fired three rockets into Israel. The Israeli military said there were no reports of casualties or major damage from exchange of fire overnight. Meanwhile, Palestinians have protested in Jerusalem after Friday prayers against Middle East peace plan announced by the American president recently. And now cricket in the ICC Under-19 World Cup Super League quarterfinals match against Afghanistan at Benoni, chasing a victory target of 190 runs. Pakistan were 101 runs for the loss of one wicket in 18.3 overs. Earlier, Afghanistan scored 189 all out in 49.1 overs. And finally, the weather. Mainly cold and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country, while very cold conditions in northern Balochistan, Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Gilgit Baltistan, and Kashmir during the next 12 hours. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.